after 47 years, humanity's farthest traveler is about to hit a milestone no spacecraft has ever reached, one full light day from Earth. But what does that really mean for us? Voyager 1's journey, once celebrated solely as an engineering feat, has now evolved into a profound symbol of humanity's enduring curiosity as it approaches a monumental milestone. Reaching the distance of one full light day from Earth, approximately 25.9 billion kilometers, expected around November 15, 2026, based on NASA's eyes on the solar system simulation. This distance marks a point so remote that even light, the fastest entity in the universe, takes a full 24 hours to travel from Earth to Voyager and another 24 hours to return, creating a 48-hour round-trip delay for any communication a seemingly small shift that nonetheless carries deep philosophical weight, emphasizing how truly far our presence now extends into the cosmos. Launched in 1977 to study Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1 exceeded all expectations, continuing its mission after planetary exploration by venturing into the unknown, crossing the heliopause in 2012 to enter interstellar space. And now, nearly five decades later, traveling at 61,000 kilometers per hour. It is more than 166 astronomical units away, adding only a few more AUs each year due to the immense distances involved. This milestone is not a dramatic visual event or physical boundary, but a symbolic one. There is no flare or shockwave when it happens, yet it speaks volumes about endurance, engineering, and the nature of time in deep space. Communication with Voyager today involves managing extremely weak signals detected by NASA's Deep Space Network, a global system of radio antennas tasked with capturing the faint whispers of data sent by a probe whose transmitter is now weaker than most household electronics, powered by a slowly decaying radioisotope generator that still miraculously functions. Engineers must send pre-planned batches of commands days in advance, with no opportunity for immediate correction making real-time mission control impossible and demanding an entirely new model of hands-off exploration, which will be critical for future missions to moons like Europa or Titan or even interstellar precursors. Over the years, systems aboard Voyager have gradually been shut down to conserve power. Its cosmic ray subsystem went offline in 2025, and the low-energy, charged particle instrument is expected to follow in 2026 with a complete communications shutdown likely in the early 2030s when the power source can no longer sustain the transmitter. As we approach that inevitable silence, the light day milestone stands as a final, poignant landmark, a quiet reminder of how time, distance, and patience shape our exploration of space. Voyager's trajectory carries it ever outward toward the hypothetical Oort cloud, a vast, icy shell of ancient debris that may take thousands of years to reach, and even that is not the true edge. The sun's gravitational influence, by some definitions, ends nearly two light years away, meaning Voyager would need around 40,000 more years to leave the solar system entirely, continuing on for millions of years unless intercepted or destroyed. No active spacecraft are expected to surpass its distance soon, though New Horizons still travels outward, and experimental concepts like Breakthrough Starshot proposed tiny laser-driven probes that could reach nearby stars in a few decades. But for now, Voyager remains the most distant human-made object, not due to speed or technology, but because it endured, a testament to redundancy, resilience, and long-term planning. This mission offers critical lessons in how to design spacecraft for deep space. Not flashy, not fast, but persistent, consistent, and designed to survive beyond human lifetimes. The golden record it carries, filled with music, greetings, and images from Earth, remains a symbolic gesture of hope and connection, a message from humanity waiting for an unknown recipient in the distant future. As Voyager crosses the light day boundary, it represents more than just distance. It marks a transition in how we think about our place in the universe, how we approach communication over interstellar scales, and how we define progress in exploration, where patience and vision can achieve what speed and force cannot. This moment is not about a headline-grabbing discovery, but a lasting legacy, an enduring signal from Earth that continues onward, deep into the unknown, 
reminding us that even the quietest missions can echo across time and space in ways we are only beginning to understand. With each passing year, Voyager becomes more than a machine. It becomes a floating monument to human resolve. It reminds us that in a world often obsessed with immediacy and speed, there is extraordinary power in endurance, in the slow but steady pursuit of knowledge. Even if no alien intelligence ever intercepts the golden record, the act of sending it speaks volumes about the kind of species we are, one that dares to reach beyond its limits, not because it must, but because it chooses to. Voyager's light day journey is not just a scientific milestone. It is a quiet, cosmic echo of our most ancient impulse, to explore, to understand, and to belong somewhere in the grand design of the universe. And while future generations may send faster probes equipped with AI and quantum communication systems, Voyager 1 will remain etched in history as the first to bravely drift beyond the solar wind's influence, powered not by cutting-edge technology, but by purpose, simplicity, and faith in engineering. Its journey tells a story of patience over decades, of blind hope sent into darkness, of human fingerprints reaching places no hand will ever touch. Its signal, no matter how faint, continues to link us to the furthest corners of space, and perhaps more importantly, to our deepest aspirations. Scientists now study the interstellar medium using Voyager's data, unveiling a region of space untouched by the solar bubble, discovering plasma densities and magnetic fields that help shape our understanding of the galaxy structure. In doing so, Voyager is no longer just a traveler. It has become our lens, our presence, and our scientific eye in the abyss. It gives us more than data. It gives us a reason to look further, to imagine bolder, and to believe in the quiet power of perseverance. Even as its instruments go dark, its legacy grows louder. Voyager's silence, when it comes, will not be an end. It will be a continuation of the story it began, one that will be retold for generations to come, in classrooms, observatories, and the dreams of young explorers who wonder what lies beyond the veil. And perhaps, one day, when another civilization detects that faint signal or stumbles upon the spacecraft drifting through their region of space, they'll see not just a machine, but a message, a testament from a small blue planet that dared to reach into the dark and leave behind a whisper of who we were. Hit that subscribe button, share your thoughts below, and let's keep exploring the together. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next.